You guys told us that Russia couldn't lose. You told us that the Taliban couldn't immediately win. And so I guess I'm wondering, what in the $773 billion that you're requesting today is going to help you make assessments that are accurate in the face of so many blown calls? Why is he just sitting there staring at him? It's almost like he's trying to threaten him. Or he's just so blown away that somebody's actually giving him some criticism and some scrutiny. Fact of the matter is, everything Matt Gates just said there is a completely legitimate criticism. It's been nothing but failure after failure with this administration. If it were a Republican administration, everybody would know it nationwide because the media would never stop the drumbeat of criticism. But since it's a Democrat administration, they're just given a pass. You, you've, you've seen what's in our budget. You've seen how the budget matches the strategy, and so I'll let that speak for itself. Well, I mean, I've also seen that we're behind, Mr. Secretary. We're behind in hypersonics. We failed to deter Russia. Last year, China so what do you, what do you, what do you mean we're behind in hypersonics? How, how do you... How okay, do you, who do you, who's ahead in hypersonics? How, how do you... How do you, how do you how do you make that assessment? I don't know. How, is, is I make that assessment one, because is China is fielding hypersonic weapon systems and we are still developing them. Are I make that assessment because Russia actually used or development of one. By the way, your own people brief us that we are behind and that China is winning. Are, are you aware of the briefings we get on hypersonics? I am certainly aware of briefings that we provide to, to Congress. But it, it's not just the hypersonics, it's all over the world. Okay, what is he saying here? That when they brief Congress about hypersonics, they're not telling the truth? It's in Taiwan, where China's last year flew more sorties than ever before. It's North Korea on pace to shatter prior records, the number of missiles that they, that they are testing. And so while everyone else in the world seems to be developing capabilities and being more strategic, we got time to embrace critical race theory at West Point, to embrace socialism at the National Defense University, to do mandatory pronoun training. Do you it's, assess- You know, it's, it's, again, this is the most capable, the most combat credible force in the world. It has been, and it will be so uh, going forward. Not if and we this continue down this path. To do that. Not if we embrace socialism. The, the fact that you're embarrassed by your by your country. By oh no no no! Country, I'm embarrassed by I'm, your leadership. I'm sorry for I am that. not embarrassed for my country. I wish it's we were not losing saying. to China. It's I what wish you're we saying. Were, you know what? The that's you know that is so th that is so disgraceful that you would sit here and conflate your failures with the failures of the uniformed service members. He didn't even deny anything Gates said there. He just threw up a childish red herring that any criticism of him or the current administration's self-destructive military policies somehow amounts to you being embarrassed by your country. And the way that he keeps repeating, that's what you said. That's what you said. Wish it's we were not losing saying. to China. It's I what wish you're we saying. Were. Reminds me of something I'd expect to hear from Biden or somebody with developmental issues or a child. While our enemies prepare for war and to defeat us, our military is apparently focused on socialism, Marxist principles, gay pride, and demonizing white people. His response to that isn't to deny that any of that's going on. It's just, you must be embarrassed by your country. <laughs> I am that. not embarrassed for my country. I wish it's we were not losing saying. to China. It's I what wish you're we saying. Were, you know what? The that's not, you know that is so th that is so disgraceful that you would sit here and conflate your failures with the failures of the uniformed service members. You guys said that that Russia would overrun Ukraine in 36 days. You said that the Taliban would be kept at bay for months. You totally blew those calls. And maybe we would be better at them if the National Defense University actually worked a little more on strategy and a little less on wokeism. Has it occurred to you that Russia has not overrun Ukraine because of what we've done? And our allies have done. But that was have, baked have you into your flawed assessment. That? that was baked into your flawed assessment. And so yeah, I saw that the Obama administration the, the that we tried to Ukraine destroy our military by starving it of resources. And it seems the Biden administration is trying to destroy our military by force feeding it wokeism. I yield back. All right, folks, I'm working on some other stuff for the channel today. So just a quick one. But if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share the video wherever you can, and let us know what you think in the comments.